Hey, what's going on? This is Jamila the Killer, and I am here to talk to you guys about my first match of um, my connected careers mode with the uh, Houston Texans. As you can see here, this is preseason week one. I already did the training boot camp thing. wasn't too big of a fan of it, so let's get right into this. As you see, they win the kick or they win the coin toss, and they choose to receive. So. I'm going to be kicking to them. I am trying out my new setup here. I just got my pop filter today, so hopefully that helps a little bit with the kind of popping sounds, as you kind of guess by the name of it, being a pop filter. Uh, so here we go. Let's get the game started. I start off... Uh, actually, no. Never mind. I won the coin toss. I wasn't paying attention, so I chose to receive, and I take it back, and I get to, like, the 19, so doesn't work out that great for me. So here we go. You see Matt Schaub going out onto the field. And is he gonna do good? I don't know. Let's find it. That's not Matt Schaub, is it? I'm stupid. That's uh. No, is it? I don't know. I don't know the Texans. Let's see here. So I start off the run. You know, I'm gonna try to get a run, run-heavy team just because I got Arian Foster, who's a beast, and I like the Houston zone blocking. So I'm gonna try to run the ball quite a bit this season, and then when I have to, I'll throw it up. Maybe to Andre Johnson because he is a boss. Love him, love having him as an option. So, as you can see here, we start off running the ball pretty effectively. Not too bad at all. Um, just run here and there, pass a couple times. Didn't get to use him that much since, you know, this is the preseason, so I do sub out my team quite often. But, you know, it is what it is. Go a little play action here, try to throw it to my tight end, who makes the catch. Yeah. No, he doesn't make the catch. Ref was blind. He totally made that catch. So you see my halfback Foster going out in motion, so I throw it up over the middle, and it almost gets picked off. Pretty lucky that it didn't, but it didn't, so that's that. Uh, there, uh, on third down, I do get lucky, and I get the face mask on them, so I catch a little bit of a break. So get the first down, and on first down, I run it with Foster and get about six yards. So he's doing pretty good, three rushes for quite a few. Got a nice little wheel route there. I, I was going to try to go with the halfback, but I saw my guy on the left was open, so I hit him up the middle, which was Andre Johnson. And I don't really know the playbook too much, so I'm just kind of letting Madden pick the plays for me at the moment. I don't have any kind of scheme I want to run against the computer. I am going to try to play Sim this year, but uh, it's going to be a little tough for me, guys, because I'm used to like switching to the user pick and stuff like that. I'm going to try to get away from that. Um, I did a couple this game. I did get a user pick later on in the game that I shouldn't have usered if I wanted to be Sim Sim, but I accidentally did, and it's getting tough to break that habit. But we're getting there. As you can see, I made the field goal, so it puts me up 3 nothing. And uh, this is kind of what I was worried about here is the running back. With, uh, they got Williams and Stewart, which are two pretty good backs to have on the team. So uh, Cam Newton there tries to get fancy, but gets sacked by my guy. I don't know the team. Uh, I'll get the team figured out eventually, but, you know, until then. Yeah, nice little play there. Gets shoved, shoves my guy off and then spins out of bounds. Like, what now, man? So I was kind of disappointed about that. But And forgive the choppiness, too, of the editing. I don't, I haven't edited that many games from Madden, so it will get better with time. And as you see, next very next play, after that big pass, he breaks off a big run out of Stewart, get a 25-yard rush. So kind of disappointed about that, but not much you can really do. So. They're knocking on the door in the red zone here. Uh, yeah, not a fan. My red zone defense isn't that great. Like, usually that's where your defense gets better because it's tougher to score. But for me, I, I don't know. I did manage to hold them to, to four down. They kick a field goal and tie it up 3-3. Three, three, so not too bad. At least they're not ahead of me in points. Uh, I see my guy there uh, wide open. And he gets uh, quite a few yards. Uh, Johnson is pretty much my go-to guy this game. Uh, when I do pass in, in the first half. Because her first quarter since... It's now second quarter, and you see I got Ben Tate running the ball, who's actually a pretty good backup. I do not mind running the ball with him at all. He is pretty awesome. Got a little out route there where my guy goes and catches it for nine yards. Uh, fast forward here, first and ten. Uh, I'm just kind of trying to run the ball, trying to get a feel, and Tate gets lit up right there. Surprised he got up as quick as he did. And I got to rely on my backup kicker to make a field goal, which they usually miss, but he just squeaks that one through, so now I'm up 6-3, to three, getting the hand high-five from Forsett over there. So not too bad, not too bad. You see a draw by Stewart, and he gets 9 yards before getting taken down by my safety. Pretty awesome. Uh, they went to 3-and-out uh, that, that match, and they punted it to me, and now I'm going to start running the ball, trying to get my thing going down here, and I throw a terrible pass right there with TJ Yates. 
uh, who actually I don't mind either. I like TJ Yates. He's a pretty pretty decent passer. And you see right there, he caught that. And I didn't realize because I haven't played too many games where I can challenge. I didn't know that left trigger was the like, auto challenge. And I always hit left trigger before the mat, before the they hike it. And I accidentally challenged that and lost. So that's why my timeout's missing. Uh, they go deep and end up punting. So I'm just going to try to air it out a little bit here before the half is over so I can get some points on the board. I'm going to try to target Johnson, but I'll take whoever's open. Drop way back, try to throw it up on third and inches, and it gets picked off, which is quite unfortunate, so that means I'm not going to be able to get a score before halftime. Uh, but the very next play, I'm a defensive genius because I come up with my user pick right there. Uh, plan for that to happen, of course, so, you know, get a little bit better field position. You know, no, no big deal. But, you know, not doing too bad there. Kind of right there, I'd get a good pass to get me to third and two. Which is okay, I guess, and I see this big opening because they're in man coverage, so I take off with the eights and get me a first down slide, of course, because I don't want to be fumbling the ball when I get hit like most quarterbacks do. And I throw another pick. So all my hopes were dashed right there for getting a touchdown or at least a field goal before halftime. And we fast forward into the third here. Cam Newton's doing his thing in the pocket, throwing throwing somewhat strikes, you know, not too bad, and I just destroy that guy on the ground, if you know what I mean. Um... But do you know he's going to be a little... Yeah, let's not get into that. Uh, they throw a nice little nice little handoff there to... Uh, I don't know who that was. But they didn't do much with it. As you see, I got the ball back. So they went three and out. And I'm going to start running the ball a little bit. Going to try to take some time off the clock since I'm up. You know, that's kind of the game plan I've got this game. Just trying to get a feel for the, the zone blocking scheme. I'm not used to that. So, But it's awesome. Yeah, and I get sacked right there. Just get destroyed by the blitz, which was kind of disappointing. So we're at third and four. Is that third and 14? Get a nice little play by my wheel route on my halfback, Tate. I love that play. Uh, if any of you watch Mr. Golden Sports, that's one of his plays in his Jacksonville scheme, which is a pretty good scheme. If you haven't checked it out, I would check out his video. And yes, play action, second and one. Throw a nice touchdown pass right there to my tight end. He was pretty wide open. As soon as I threw it, I thought they were going to close in and pick that, but they did not. So... Uh, that happens, and you see me back there playing Keo, and I kind of left the zone area a little bit, and that might be why if I would have stayed, I might have been able to jump that. But as you see, again, they go three and out and end up punting to me, and I start breaking tackles with Tate because he is, he is so strong. Yeah, I know I'm stealing all these people's catchphrases, but it's okay. Uh, but I get sacked and fumble the ball, and they recover in pretty close to the red zone. So I'm sad. So I'm up 13-3 to three at this point, but as you see here, they throw a nice little strike, and bam! both feet in watch the replay yeah he was he was in it was a pretty good play I catch on his part so now I'm only up by three uh, I'm starting to throw some little corner routes here trying to get some, some plays going I'm running the bench sometimes here and there over through that one that would have been a nice little gain but the eights doesn't have the accuracy that some of the other quarterbacks do so I can understand why that's not gonna work out uh, I ended up going I think four and out something like that I think I got a first down in there and then I failed and Hit a punt, and my, as you can see, my user is awful. I uh, should have had that pick, but then I just ran around about a bounds and didn't do a thing about it. So that's that. So you see them slowly marching down the field. Here we are in the fourth quarter. we got about five minutes left in the game. Just trying to stop them just in case because uh, I don't like playing from behind. But as you see, they're slowly rushing up closer and closer, getting there. And eventually on a second goal, they do manage to pound it in with Stewart. So that puts them up 17-13. I'm now down by four. So I got to play from behind a little bit. And I throw a pick. So that's not look good at that point. I was like, well, the game's over. Not too big of a deal because it is preseason. But, you know, you do kind of want to win as many games as you can. Uh, yeah. User there on Keo didn't get the, didn't get up there quick enough to hit the tackle. So I do that. But I do hold them to a field goal. So now they're up. Uh, right now they're up 20 to 13. So I got to play from behind. I need a touchdown to tie or the to go for the two for the win with a minute 43 left or something like that. Uh, a nice catch right there. I thought that was going to be picked. So pretty good awareness by my tight end there to get his hands back. Uh, I do go deep right there, overthrow, which is unfortunate. Uh, second down, skip head to fourth and two where I got to go for it all, and I hit him going across the middle, and he makes the catch, keeps the drive alive, and our hopes of winning are still there. Uh, so we're going second and ten again. I get sacked, and I made the mistake. I no huddle uh, up to the line, which kind of wasted a little bit of time, but that's all right. I do manage to uh, to find my guy wide open, my halfback, Tate. Uh, apparently it was man coverage or something, and he just beat the guy deep. So now we are first and goal with 
seven seconds left, I get the score for the touchdown. And since it's preseason, I go for two just because it doesn't matter. Don't want to risk playing overtime and getting my guys hurt. So, But I do manage to get the two-point conversion. And as you can see here, the last play of the game with five seconds left, they just do a draw play to end it up. Oh, excuse me, guys. To end it out. Uh, so that's that, guys. My first preseason game on the Houston Texans with uh, Hurricanes Custom All Madden Sliders. I ended up winning 21-20. Uh, uh, go check the stats here. And yeah, you guys want to check it out. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Look for more in the future. Uh, if you did, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll be putting these out hopefully. Uh, I'm trying to hope, I'm looking for three to four videos a week um, of just the C franchise mode or cranking careers, I guess. Uh, plus the fantasy updates and stuff like that. There will be another one coming later on tonight from me. Uh, they are going to be releasing a couple limited edition cards for the week. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.